Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. I'm trying to discuss uh, that old calculator I made a while ago, the final exam calculator. I'm going to go over a tutorial on it. The new update, which I got my brother to uh, revamp the website, it looks pretty amazing. And I'll go over a tutorial on how it works. So basically, if you go to finalexamcalculator.com, and then you'll see you'll see this right here. You can also download the sweet iPhone app and uh, etc. Uh, basically, uh, what the calculator does is um, basically calculates what you need on the final exam to get a desired grade. Uh, basically, uh, and you, you could also add courses. So if you put the switch here, you could add your courses, your grades, your midterms, etc. And what grade you want, and automatically calculate what you need, and also the minimum course and the maximum course grade. I'm going to go over the calculations in this first. Let's say we don't we know our current grade. I'll do this one after. Let's say it's 80. 80 percent. Just delete that. Uh, default 50. So it's 80 percent. And let's say uh, we want 80 percent in the course, but our current grade is let's say 70. And our way to the final, let's just write 40. And now, as you can see, this automatically calculates. Uh, that you need 95% on the final to get 80% on the course and the minimum course grade if you just get zero in the finals 42 if you get 100% the max you can get is 82% okay, so here I've copied and pasted this section just so we can uh, go over the calculations behind this and to show that this is basically how it works so basically in a in a course or whatever in a, uh, whatever you're taking the max you can get is a hundred percent but let's say you but in this case you only want 80 so then the max is going to be our 80 is what we want so basically we want 80 percent and this equals to uh, basically the percent or x divided by 100 of the course and if uh, no i mean of the grit of the weight of the final which is 40 in this case so basically we're going to times 40 by percentage to get a percentage of the weight of it so it's 40 and then now this is going to be plus uh, plus now what we currently have and what we currently have is 70% or 70 over 100 and we're going to multiply this by uh, this we're going to multiply this by 60 and this is the weight of the of the course outside of the final and this is just basically 100 minus 40 so 100 is is the total weight which is this minus 40 which is the weight of the final so 60 weight of the course so if we calculate this out we're gonna get basically 80 is equal to this is gonna be well I'll just keep this up 100 times by 40 plus this one we put in a calculator we're gonna get 42 or calculate by hand so we get 42 so we get this over here and now we can uh, basically uh, move this to the left side and solve for X so we're gonna get an 80 minus 42 times it by a hundred divided by 40 so we multiply the 100 out divided by 40 after we move this to the left so then this equals to x and then if we simplify this further this will be 38 over 40 times it by 100 and as you see this is 38 over 40 plug this in the calculator solve by hand you're gonna get basically x is equal to 95 uh, yeah right here because we're gonna multiply by 100 so 95 or or 95 percent is the same thing as as uh, right now we're looking at x divided by 100 but that's a percent so basically we need 95 on the final to get 80 percent so we got this part now to get the minimum and maximum well we could just write min max right here this would equal to well we just look at this section right here so we go x divided by 100 times by 40 plus 42 so we have this but for minimum is when we get x equals to zero we get zero in the final so we get minimum is equal to uh, basically zero plus 42 so 42 and that's this 42 right here now the max is when x is a hundred percent or a hundred so we get a hundred over a hundred which is just going to be now so 100 divided by 100 just one so times by 40 just 40 so equals to 40 plus 42 and equals to 82 or 82 percent here so there's our 82 percent okay so now that i've gone over this part let's say we don't know the current grade i'll go over the calculations for this and also you could add assignments you could close these etc uh, so basically let's say we have three assignments so say 
uh, we got actually 50% in, in the first time it's worth 10%. And then we get, let's say, 90% um, and it's worth 10%. Then let's say we had a midterm and this was worth 30%. And we actually, no, we got, let's say, 70 and it's worth 30. It's right here. And as you see, the calculator automatically calculates. If we want 80%, we could change it. But let's just stick with 80 we want. So our current grade now is actually... Yeah, it's actually a yeah, 70 as well for some reason. Actually, that was just random. Let's see if it's 75. See your current grade changes, etc. So all these are automatically calculated for you. Let's stick with the 70. So as you see, the current grade is 70. But now our weight of the final is 50 because these add up to 50 and the weight of the final automatically be calculated as 100 minus the total sum of your assignments and midterms. Yeah, so here once again I copied and pasted the results but now with assignments and I'll go over the calculations for this and it's going to be really similar. So we want once again 80% or we'll just say 80. So we have so we want 80 on the course and now we know that we need to look for the final. So again the final is going to be x divided by 100. That's the percent here times it by our weight of the final which is 50. And remember this the total sum here is equal to 50. 30 plus 10 plus 10. So then this 50 is just 100 minus 50 to so the weight of the final. So now we just plus the the weights that we get from each assignment. So there's 10 possible we can get, but we get 50%. So we'll get a 50 divided by 100 times it by 10. That's first assignment. Then we get a 90 yeah, divided by 100 times it by 10 again. And now the last midterm we got 70%. Or 70 over 100, yeah, 70 over 100, and now this is multiplied by the weight of the midterm, which is 30 uh, right here. So now this means it's just we're taking a fraction or of the 10 possible percent, and in this case here, if we put in the calculator, we get, well, I'll just write this out, so x over 100 times 50 plus now here, this is going to be, well, 5. So out of a possible 10, we get 5. And this one is at a possible uh, 10, we get 9 now. And now this one here, if you plug that in, this just means 21 out of 30, or 70% of that is 21 out of 30. So now we have 80 equals all this. And now if you plug these uh, in the calculator again, we're going to get yeah, 80 uh, here. And then on this right side, this is going to be 5 plus 9 is, 20, is, is 14, plus this 21, that's going to be 35 right here. So we got 35 total from the courses out of a possible 50. And now we again, once again, solve for x. So 80 minus 35 multiplied by this by 100, then divided by the 50 out of here. So we multiply 100 and divide by 50. So this equals to x, and this equals to 45 over 50, and once again, times by 100. Plug this in, this is just basically 90. So this means we need 90% on the final to get 80%, and that's this calculation right here, which it automatically does. And the minimum course grade is 35, and the max is 85. Yeah, and once again, to get uh, these calculations, it's the exact same as we did before. So we'll take this part of the calculation. So we'll go min, max, and now this will say this equals 2x divided by, yeah, x divided by 100 times 50 plus 35, so the minimum again is when x is equal to 0, and then this just means minimum is going to be equal to 0, this is going to be 35. And that's our 35 right over here, so that's a check. And now when we have a max, basically when we go max, is when x equals to 100, or we get 100% of the 50 and 100% of the 50 would just be well 50 so we get max is equal to this is going to be 50 plus 35 and this equals to 85 max that we can get so we want 80% the max we can get is 85 the minimum is 35 but we need 90% on the final to get this percent in the course. Well, anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully you learned. Remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And also, uh, I just want to say you could also comment here, share it with your friends if you like it. And anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you like this calculator, and thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.